Hey guys, Basil Wolf from Grayson Hobby, and today we have an exciting new video. We're going to show you how to hook up your Diatone plug and play to a jumper R1 Plus receiver without soldering. Yep. Like always, if this video you find it useful and helpful, hit that subscribe button and be sure to support Grayson Hobby if it's pack of props, batteries, quad, jumper Every radios. Everything helps. Everything. Uh, everything ships from right here, right? Mm hmm. Uh, located right outside Atlanta, Georgia. It's usually about two days to the entire east coast of the country. Also check out our Facebook group. Um, a lot of tech support, help, stuff like that. We got a pretty good little community. Yeah, going. everybody's helping each other uh, out. Everybody's yep. been really good, very helpful in it. Most of you guys know that the Diatone uses the universal connector that we still rip We call on. it the ununiversal connector. Ununiversal <laughs> connector um, in order to connect their plug and plays with a RXSR style receiver or like a crossfire, et cetera, they give you a little pigtail. Um, the problem with that one is the pinout is not the same for jumper. Jumper's using the XSR pinout, not the RXSR pinout that moved it for some reason. FreeSky decided to change their pinout after years. Um, but we have a little product here just for a couple bucks. They'll make it to where you don't have to lift the pins, move it around, and possibly break your wire harness. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're just lazy and want to just use that, then there you go. Yep. So in this video, we're going to show you how to, how to hook it up, how easy it is, how to plug it in, and that's pretty much it. It's a quick yep. little video. Guys, so while we're on the topic of this, quick question for you guys out there. Are you uh, a firm believer in soldering your receiver straight to the flight controller with wires only, no plugs? Or are you like some of the other guys out there that have to have a plug to a plug to a plug, that way they can easy access it later on? Um, reflash it, update, etc. Let us know in the comments below. Show us the magic. All right. All right. So basically, we're going to take this bag that came with the Diatone, throw it in the box. Props, don't need it. Props, don't need it. Canopies, don't need it. The harnesses that normally come with it for the RXSR, guess what? Don't need it. We're going to use this guy right here, a GH406. And I've already cut the bag on this one open so I can get it out. So this is just a traditional diatome yeah. plug and play. And you'll see if you compare it with the adapter here, you look on the five pin harness, it's black, red, space, yellow. This one's black, red, yellow. So if you're handy with an X-Acto knife, yes, you can lift the pin and move it. Which we showed um, you what had to do. We've had several people that have been like, hey, can I get another harness? Because I broke it, I accidentally oh, cut yeah. it off, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you don't want to risk it, a couple bucks, get that, yep. call it a day. So this thing's really easy, guys. The hardest part is actually mounting the receiver. So you're going to take the R1 Plus out of the box, unplug whatever harness is on it, plug in the five pin side with the pins up, plug in there. So just like that? Yep. And watch it now. Check it out. Plugged in. No way. So. Like I said, the hardest part is going to be finding a spot to mount the receiver. A lot of people do it behind the canopy and stuff like that with the R1s. Uh, there's plenty of wire tuck up in there, zip tie it down, whatever you got to do, shrink tube, etc. Um, but that this is short and sweet, how to get yeah. that sucker done. We get a lot of people asking about that, and there it is. Yeah. So that's just one way to do it. Some people just mount the receiver on top. You do what you want to do, guys. It's your quad, but just remember if you crash, you don't want to bust your receiver up. And the antennas just don't break by themselves they just fall off what are you talking about it just magically cut off as far as we know as of august 2020 this is only good for the diatone plug and place yeah the bind and flies have a pre-soldered harness installed for the rxsr specifically from diatone so if you're buying a bind and fly you're stuck with the rxsr right. if you buy a plug and play this is where you can save a couple bucks to get the r1 yeah so we did a video on the r1 plus receiver we'll link that yeah how to here. bind it and all yep. that stuff did how to bind it all about it and it's very similar to the free sky receivers and this is actually the free sky d16 protocol so yeah. i don't think they mentioned that either so this is another op another just another receiver out there in the market and now we have a solderless solution all right guys there it is are you a jumper r1 fan are you an rxxr fan i hope you liked this video we've actually had a lot of people asking about the one we did years ago about the fury Flight controller. Oh yeah, so basically this is the modern version. So if you have a newer diatone, this is the same concept of the solderless harness. Right. And this will not only work on the 349, it work on the 249 and the Tycans, the big Tycan 1.1. Pretty much 1. the entire plug and play series yes. from diatone, as long as it's one that had the ununiversal adapter. Yes. So there it is. Hope you think this helps you out. This should get everybody up, up and running really quick. No soldering, which I like. Um, and you're not using anything different, you're just using a different connector than Diatone already supplies. So there's yep. nothing, nothing more, in there faster. nothing less.